Hello! Today we are going to learn how to add dynamic markings to a composition on Sibelius. So here I have my composition entitled Undecided Dreams. I would like to add a dynamic to the beginning of my piece and I think I would like to add a mezzo piano dynamic. So the first thing I'm going to do is to place my cursor over where I would like to place the dynamic. I'm then going to right click and I will see a drop down menu. I'm going to move my cursor down to the word text and I will see another drop down menu appear to the right. I'm going to move my cursor on over here and hover it over expression. I'm then going to click on expression and I'm going to place my cursor where I want my dynamic. I'm going to click until I see a blinking cursor and when I see that blinking cursor I'm going to right click and I will see a list of dynamics come up. Here we have piano, fortissimo, even a sforzando if I'm feeling fancy. But today I would like to stick with a mezzo piano. So I'm going to hover my cursor over mezzo piano and go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, it will show up. So let's say that that dynamic is not quite where I want it. I can easily move it by clicking on the dynamic and dragging it to my desired location. But I would like to place it right here above the A. All right, so now that we know how to add a dynamic marking, let's say I want to add a decrescendo. We're going to follow a similar procedure. I'm going to go over to where I would like to add my decrescendo. I'm going to right click and I will see this drop down menu again. But this time, instead of going down to text, I'm going to hover my cursor over line. I'm going to click on line and I will see a variety of options appear. Today I would like to use the decrescendo, so I'm going to click on the decrescendo and I'm going to go down and click OK. Then I'm going to take my cursor and you can see that the cursor is blue and I'm going to click where I would like to place the decrescendo. My decrescendo shows up here and as you can see there's a little blue box right here. That is there so that I can make my decrescendo longer by clicking on the box and dragging it or I can also make my decrescendo shorter again by clicking on the blue box and adjusting it to my desired length. Just like we did with the dynamic marking of mezzo piano, we can also move our decrescendo to our desired location. All you have to do is click on the decrescendo and you can go ahead and move it to wherever you would like. Like so. I hope this has been helpful to you and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.